Good afternoon everyone and welcome to the Halsted Place Hotel. My name is Martin Bang and I'm a Deputy Superintendent Registrar for the East Sussex Registration Service. With me today my friend and colleague Kate Price is a Registrar of Marriages without whom today's proceedings would not be valid. Kate has ensured that the legal preliminaries have been completed, will make an accurate record of the wedding in the marriage register and will present the marriage certificate at the end of the ceremony. A wedding is a very special occasion and Ian and Elena have chosen to be married by civil ceremony, which has its own traditions and legal requirements and has stood as a lawful marriage since 1837. They wish to affirm their love, respect and true friendship for each other through marriage. And marriage is about sharing, so they've invited you, their friends and family here today, to receive your encouragement and support and of course to help them celebrate their day. The place in which the marriage will take place has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of civil marriages. As family and especially chosen friends, you are here to witness the joining in matrimony of Ian Jackson and Elena Salagrava. Yes? Perfect. Oh. <laughs> but if any person present knows of any lawful reason why this marriage should not take place, they should declare it now. That's a relief. In that case, I would like to welcome Adam, who is going to read for you. Now, as uh, some of you may know, Elena is Russian. <laughs> and so we've got a poem here by <laughs> Alexander Pushkin. And after I've read it, Elena is going to read it in the original Russian. It's called A Beautiful Woman. In her all's heavenly harmony, in her no wanton worldliness. She rests serenely, modestly, triumphant in her loveliness. And when she casts her gaze around her, she finds no rivals there, not one. She far outshines that set of wan Petersburg beauties who surround her. Wherever a friend you're hurrying, perhaps to a lover's assignation, whatever dream you're nurturing deep down in your imagination, if you meet her, a sight sublime, You'll falter in incomprehension and with a worshipper's intention kneel pilgrim-like at beauty's shrine. You are. But I need to get my phone. <laughs> Красавица Пушкин. Все в ней гармония, все диво, все выше мира и страстей. Она покоится стыдливо в красе торжественной своей. Она кругом себя взирает, ей нет соперниц, нет подруг. Красавец наших бледных рук в ее сиянии исчезает. Куда бы ты ни поспешал, Хоть на любовное свидание, какое в сердце не питал ты сокровенное мечтание, но встретясь с ней, смущенный ты, вдруг остановишься невольно, благоговея богомольно перед святыми красоты. Thank you, Elena. I hope that wasn't rude. <laughs> Should have been saying it, didn't it? <laughs> Could I invite you two to stand, please? And just stay. <laughs> Ian and Elena, today you will exchange vows that will unite you as husband and wife. The words are a formal and public pledge of your love and a promise of lifelong dedication to each other. But before you are joined in matrimony, it is my duty to remind you of the solemn and binding nature of marriage. Marriage in this country means the union of two people, 
voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. Marriage has different meanings to different people, but it is the ultimate symbol of trust. The vows require you to be loyal, loving and true towards each other. It means making a commitment to care for and support each other through good times and bad, working together to create an atmosphere of harmony and mutual understanding. The civil ceremony is a simple one. First you'll be making a declaration that you are free to marry and then you'll be exchanging your marriage vows, promising to take each other as partners for life and to show love and respect for one another over the years ahead. Are you both ready to make those vows? Yes. <laughs> Ian, do you take Elena to be your wife? Do you promise to remain true to her for the rest of your lives together? I do. Elena, do you take Ian to be your husband? Do you promise to remain true to him for the rest of your lives together? I do. Could I invite the witnesses, Adam and Jessica, forward, please? May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Elena Salagova. To Elena Salagova. Elena, please repeat after me. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Elena Salagova. Why I, Elena Salagova. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Ian Jackson. To Ian Jackson. Now we've reached the solemn moment for Ian and Elena to exchange their marriage vows before you, their witnesses, promising to take each other as partners for life and to be loving and true throughout their future together. So if I could ask you to move together to join hands. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> join hands. Ian, please repeat after me. I call upon these persons. I call upon these persons. Here present to witness. Here present to witness. That I, Ian Jackson. That I, Ian Jackson. Do take thee, Elena Salagova. Do take thee, Elena Salagova. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. Elena, please repeat after me. I call upon these persons. I call upon these persons. Here present to witness. Here present to witness. That I, Elena Salagova. That I, Elena Salagova. Do take the Ian Jackson. Do take the Ian Jackson. To be my lawful Giving and receiving of a ring is the traditional way of sealing marriage vows. It is an outward sign of the promises just made, the unbroken circle symbolising unending love. Adam, can you please step forward to present the ring? Oh, oh no. <laughs> Ian, would you please take the ring that you're giving to Elena and place it on the third finger of her left hand? Please hold the ring there and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. And as a symbol of my eternal love. And as a symbol of my eternal love. I promise to love and honour. I promise to love and honour. Respect and cherish you. Respect and cherish you. I promise to be faithful, loyal and true. I promise to be faithful, loyal and true. Now and always. Now and always. Elena, would you please take the ring that you're giving to Ian and place it on the third finger of his left hand. Please hold the ring there and repeat after me. I give you this ring. 
I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. And as a symbol of my eternal love. And as a symbol of my eternal love. I promise to love and honor. I promise to love and honor. Respect and re cherish you. Respect and cherish you. I promise to be faithful, loyal and true. I promise to be faithful and true. Now and always. Now and always. As you look each other in the eyes, let us remember that love is the most incredible of all the experiences that touch our life. It creates for us the world in which we want to live. From the beginning of our lives we know that love is the power that comforts and protects us. It is the one feeling that we can depend on to help us through life's ups and downs. Love is the understanding and security that never changes. It allows us to be ourselves and feel self-confident. Today, as the two of you join together and commit your love to each other, remember the lessons of love that you have always known. Let your love comfort, support and encourage you. Let your love be the best part of your lives. Always know Nothing that better. it will make and it will make your world a place of happiness. You have made here today those declarations which are prescribed by law, and you have made a solemn and binding contract in the presence of your family and friends. You have sealed that contract with the giving and receiving of rings, and you have made a promise to each other of loyalty and commitment. It's a great, very great pleasure, therefore, to declare that you are husband. <laughs> you may kiss your bride. <laughs> That's great, thanks guys. <laughs> Come up for it. <laughs> Ian and Elena are now going to complete the registration of the marriage at the desk in front of you. This is going to take a few minutes. Please feel free to talk amongst yourselves, enjoy some more music. Could I just so ask you, you whilst the Ladies and gentlemen, please stand, clap and cheer, Mr. and Mrs. Jackson. <laughs>